Hey everyone, it's Chris here from the Hot Wheels Garage. Today we're checking out 12 castings from the Hot Wheels 2020 M case, all brand new color variations on these cars. So smash a big thumbs up and make sure you're a subscriber if you like to see brand new Hot Wheels cars when they're released. All right, let's start this lot off with Sand Blaster car, nine of 10 in the Hot Wheels Hot Truck series. Got that Brawler decal all over this one. Man, it is such a huge car. Take a look at those wheels, massive. And look at this, the front bumper there, very, very big. I wouldn't want to get hit by this car, that is for sure. But I do like the Brawler work on the side there. Also the number 78 decal, very, very nice looking car. I'm not sure how well this one will go on the track, but let's check out the detailed views. Now Slidekick has got a release here in purple with an orange base car, eight of 10 in the Experimotor series. Now it does have a special feature. It's these wing here on the rear. We pull that and out flips the little side seat. So that's why it's called Slide Kick. Not sure what you would be doing if you're sliding out like that. Maybe it's a, you've got a gun and you're shooting, you're in a, a chase with cops and robbers. Anyway, pretty cool looking car. I think it's gonna work well on the track with the die cast base, but let's check out the detailed views on Slide Kick. Next up, it's the custom 18 Ford Mustang GT 4 of 5 out of the Hot Wheels Race Team Series for 2020. I do like the blue on the Race Team Series this year. Very nice metallic looking color. Got the blue tinted window, gray interior, those yellow rimmed wheels, Hot Wheels decals all over this one, as well as Logan on top. That's the initials JL for Logan. And we've got the number 22 on the side there. Very cool looking car. Let's check out the details views. Now Donut Drifter car, one of five in the Fast Foodies series, that new color release on this one. Check it out, man. I'm not sure I like this color. I much prefer the pink icing on the initial release, but this time around we've got some red icing. Got the two-toned color wheels, nice die cast base there. So it should go pretty well on the track. Let me know what you think in the comments below about this Donut Drifter re-color. All right, the 2019 Ford Ranger Raptor car, three of 10 in the Hot Wheels Speed Graphics series. Ford performance decals all over this one. I think the first release was white. Now we've got it here in the red color. Very, very nice. Built Ford Tough decal on the side there. Got that sort of dried up mud decal on the hood and the roof. Very nice car. And I usually like the way these wheels sound on the track. But let's check out the detailed views of the Ford Ranger Raptor. Time for car three of 10 from the Baja Blazers series. It's Geo Terra. And take a look at the color of this one. The top here is a plastic top and it's almost like a metallic -y mustard color. Let me know what you think that color is in the comments below. Smash a big thumbs up if you actually like Geo Terra. I think it's not a bad casting for a fantasy car, but you know, it's probably not my favorite of the batch today. Die cast base there, so it probably should work pretty well on the track. Now possibly my favorite of the day, car nine of 10 in the factory fresh series, Tesla Model 3. New color variation here in blue, and this is the color I'd like to get on my own Tesla Model 3. Man, it's just perfect. Take a look at the decals on the rear there. Got some nice, 
headlight work on the front with the Tesla symbol. Got that glass roof, like, well, it's not glass here, it's plastic, but Tesla has the glass roof, nicely tinted there, black interior. Now, this is my dream car. Let me know in the comments below, what is your dream car? Is it a simple sedan like this, or maybe you like a flashy Lamborghini? Let me know in the comments below. But you know what, smash a thumbs up for the Tesla Model 3. Now we've got a recolor on Roger Dodger car, eight of 10 in the Hot Wheels art car series. Got him here in the silver color. It was a black color to start with for 2020, but I think this silver is actually much, much nicer. Got the letter R on top, which is fitting for Roger Dodger. I think the steampunk uh, artwork on the sides looks very, very nice. And those chrome, well, what is that? Is it gold chrome or is it, copper chrome, I'm not too sure. Let me know what you think it is. Possibly gold chrome rims on those wheels. Chrome interior, got sort of a, not even sure what tint color this is. It's like an orangey brown here on the windows, but pretty cool. Let me know what you think in the comments below of Roger Dodger's recolor. Next up, it's Mod Rod Car, five of 10 in the Hot Wheels Dream Garage series. And this recolor here in black and red looks pretty nice. I think the car was made for this color. The first release was almost a matte blue gray color, but this black looks pretty nice. We've got that die cast base there in red, plastic top in black, got the nice decal on the side there that says Mod Rod, red rimmed wheels, chrome motor, chrome interior, lightly tinted window. Man, this car is perfect. Let's check out the detailed views of Mod Rod. All right, now it's time for the Batmobile car, three of five. Sort of an error car, this one, because it's on the card incorrectly. I'm gonna guess the, the plastic bubble should be up that way and the car should be the right way. That's why it's not sitting in there properly. But let's get it off the card and check it out. I think we're calling this color a metallic blue. It's like a chrome blue color. Got the chrome blue rimmed wheels, very nice. Got a black die cast base there. Pretty cool. I think it's gonna go well on the track. Not usually a fan of the Batmobile series cars, but this one is pretty nice, that color. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Surf and Turf is car eight of 10 in the Toon series. It is a track star car. We know this one doesn't work on the track setup that I have, but let's check it out anyway. Sort of a mint green color release this time. Nicely tinted window, chrome interior. We've got the chrome rimmed wheels, two different size wheels there. And we've got a plastic base on this one. So, you know, that's probably why I don't think it's that great of a track star car because a lot of these fantasy cars that are track stars have die cast base. But anyway, pretty cool coloring on this one. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Now the last car we're checking out today is the 84 Pontiac Firebird car, four of 10 in the Muscle Mania series. Now this car looks pretty nice here in red. Let's check it out. It's the first time we've seen it for 2020. Man, it's got the Pontiac symbol on the front there, tinted windows, silvery gray interior. I really like the plain wheels on this one, just chrome there, very, very nice. We've got the Trans Am symbol on the front quarter panel there, Hot Wheels on the rear. Nice black base. I think this one is probably a pretty cool car that is gonna be really popular on the peg. So when you see it, make sure you pick it up. Let's get the detailed views going and get it on the track. Got all of the 12 cars we opened up ready to go on the track. 
Let's start it off with Sand Blaster. A very wide car. I don't think it's going to work too well. No, that is a bit of a fail. Let's check out this donut car. Oh, look at it go. It's actually a pretty cool track star car. I don't think it's going to stop. Nope. We'll have to stop it. There we go. That one passed. Let's check out Roger Dodger. Now, this is a track star car, and you can see why. Really, really good performer on the track. Losing a bit of speed as it comes to here. Oh, and a bit of a wipeout. But you know what? That passed. I like that car. Who do we want to check out? Let's have a look at the Batmobile. Oh, again, another really cool car on the track. Is it going to stop? No. All right, so that's a bit of a thumbs up for me there as well. All right, Geo Terra. If you haven't already given a thumbs up on the video, make sure you do. If you're not a subscriber, make sure you are subscribed so you get to see all the cars tested here in the Hot Wheels garage. And you know what? This car is very loud, but it's pretty cool. Oh, wipe out. You know what? We'll drive it all the way over here because for me, that's a pass. All right, let's get the Model A, Model S, Model 3. I'm dreaming with a Model S. Oh, it's in reverse. Model 3 on the track. You know what? For me, that's a big thumbs up. I love the Model 3 and it's perfect. Track is coming apart over there and the car still performs really well. So that is a pass. Let's just fix the track. All right, let's get the mod rod on the track. Very fast. That die cast base helps it stick to the loop and the track. Jeez, there's so many cars in this lot that aren't just going to fall out and they're all performing really, really well. All right, Ford Ranger Raptor. And you can hear the noise the wheels of this one make as well. It's pretty cool. Usually it's a really good track star car even though it's not a track star. And today is no exception. Very good. Very nice. All right, Surf and Turf is a track star, but it's not gonna work. I can feel it. Why did I tell you? I'm not even gonna try again. Time to see Slide Kick. Oh, nice, nice. You can see it's sort of Wiping out a little bit on the rear as it comes out of the loop sometimes, but it's actually a pretty good car. Very cool. Now the custom 18 Ford Mustang GT has got that scoop at the front that we'll lift up there so it doesn't catch in the loops in the corners. Ooh, it's still wiped out a little bit. Slowing down, but not a bad car. Oh, and it just, it came off the track over there and went back on. So, you know what? I like that one. It's a pass. Last up, it's the 84 Pontiac Firebird. Oh, that one come off the track as well. Again. Oh, it doesn't like the track at all. I'm a bit disappointed. Oh, it's working now. Ah, oh, wipeout. Not too bad. So what we got? 11 cars. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 9 that worked really well. 1, not too bad. And 2 complete failures over there. Make sure you've smashed a big thumbs up and you're a subscriber to the Hot Wheels Garage so you get to see all these cool cars on the track. Thanks, everyone.